Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 19, Problem Set. We'll start right in with number 1, and it says, Swellen and Tara are in 6th grade, and both take dance lessons at Twinkle Toes Dance Studio. This is Swellen's first year, while this is Tara's fifth year of dance lessons. Both girls plan to continue taking dance lessons throughout high school. So letter A says, Complete the table showing the number of years the girls have danced at the studio. So I know this is Swellen's first year. And this is Tara's fifth year. So now each year, or each time I go down into the different grade levels, I'm going to add one year to it. And you're going to see uh, a big difference here um, when we look across, when we compare these two. So when I go across and I look at the number of years Swellen has compared to Tara, 1 to 5, uh, there's a difference of 4. And if I look 2 to 6, there's a difference of 4. And 3 to 7, there's a difference of 4. So... Depending on who we're talking about, changes whether it's in a you add four or whether you subtract four based on what they're given. So look at B and it says, if Swellen has been taking dance lessons for Y years, how many has Tara been taking lessons? Or how many years has Tara been taking lessons? So if Swellen's been taking it for one, we know Tara is five because one plus four gets us five. Two plus plus 4 gets us the 6. So if Swellen has been taking it for 7 years, I can add the 4 to get 11. So uh, if Swellen has taken it for 15 years, I can add 4, and I know that Tara has been taking it for 19 years. So if, she's, if Swellen has been taking it for Y years, I can add 4 to figure out how many years Tara has been taking lessons. Just based on uh, this pattern of uh, comparing Swellen to Tara. So let's take a look uh, at page two. And we're going to look um, specifically at two questions. Uh, let's start with four. And all four says is David was three when Marika was born. Complete the table. So we have uh, Marika is 5, David is 8, and we're going to see a difference of 3 between them. Either way. So if I'm given David's age, I can subtract 3 to get Marika. If I have Marika's age, I can add 3 to get David's. So that's a 13. If I'm given David's age, I know that Marika is three years less. So I would subtract three. And I know that given Marika, David is three more years. So M, what do I have to do to M to get David? I know I have to add three. And what do I, to get David's age? And if I'm given David's age, I know that I have to subtract three to get Marika's age because Marika is three years less than David or David is three years older than Marika. So we'll take a look at this last one. The chart is already filled in, so now we have to figure out and answer some questions based on it. So number five states, Caitlin and Michael are playing a card game. In the first round, Caitlin scored 200 points and Michael scored 175 points. In each of the next few rounds, they each score 50 points, or they scored 50 points. Their score sheet is below. So we see that in the first round, that's the only difference between them, and it's of 25 points. Uh, after that, they score the exact same that they're adding on. They're always adding 50 on. So if this trend continues, how many points will Michael have when Caitlin has 600 points? If I look at these two, the only difference 
is 25. So Caitlin is always going to have 25 more points than Michael. Or Michael is always going to have 25 points less than Caitlin, which is the same statement. Caitlin's always going to have 25 more. So if we look at this trend, we're given Caitlin has 600. So in order to figure out how many Michael has, we know he's got 25 less. So I'll do 600 minus 25. And I know that Michael has 575 points. If this trend continues, how many points will Michael have when Caitlin has C? And I'm going to put down C because we just figured out 600, I subtracted 25. So any number that Caitlin has, we can subtract 25 to get Michael. If this trend continues, and we're looking at C now, how many points will Caitlin have when Michael has 975? So, Michael now has 975. We have to get over here to Caitlin, and I know Caitlin has 25 more points than Michael, so I'm going to add the 25 to it to get Caitlin's amount because she always has more. And I'll add it down below, which shows that Caitlin has 1,000 points. My last statement, if this trend continues, how many points will Caitlin have when Michael has M points? So if Michael has M points, I see that whenever we get Michael's point value, we have to add 25 because Caitlin has 25 more points. So it would be M plus 25 to get to Caitlin. I hope this helps, and good luck on the rest of your problem set.